Good evening. Thank you for your attendance and for the opportunity to speak together tonight. What if we had to give an account each night before we went to sleep of the one thing that we did to make life better for someone else? What does that mean? What does that make you think? Accountability. What does it mean to be accountable? It means to be responsible. Responsible means it is on us to do what we say we're going to do or what we are told to do. Take me, for instance. I'm accountable for brushing my teeth, combing my hair, making sure I'm presentable, doing my chores. When school is in session, my homework and other things school related. But first and foremost, I must remember my responsibilities as a child of God. My relationship with Christ is my responsibility. It is all up to me to keep that a priority, not up to my family, friends, my preacher, youth minister, or the elders. As Christians, what are we accountable for? We are accountable for our daily walk with Christ. Here are a few examples. Number one, our prayer life. We should pray continually, keeping our connection open to God. When we do this, we talk to God with honesty and ask for things in faith and not doubting that He will hear and answer. Done correctly, we will see change. God will answer our prayers. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, pray without ceasing. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8. I desire, therefore, that the men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubting. James chapter 5, verse 16. Confess your trespass to one another and pray for one another, that you may be held the effective fervent prayers of a righteous man avails much. Number two, studying our Bibles. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Be diligent to present yourself, approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Number three, going to church. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as in the manner of some, but exhorting one another... And so much the more as you see the day approaching. 4. Spreading the Word Matthew chapter 28, 18 through 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them. All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of age. Amen. We can see all four of these examples in a parable that Jesus spoke. If you would like to follow me, please turn to Matthew chapter 25, 14 through 30. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability, and immediately he went on a journey. Verses 14 through 15, God gives us all certain talents and abilities. Some people have more talents than others based on their ability to use them properly. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, 
good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received two talents gained two talents more besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Verse 16 through 23, God rewards those who are accountable. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I rep where I have not sown and gathered where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. Verse 24 through 28, when we slack in our responsibilities, we fail. If we don't brush our teeth, we get cavities. If we don't take showers, we stink. When we don't do our chores, we get grounded. When we don't do our schoolwork, we fail. Same thing applies to our spiritual life. When we don't pray, we lose our connection to God. When we don't study, we lose our faith in God. When we stop going to church, we lose our connection to God to our church family. When we stop spreading the word, we fail God's commission. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have, even uh, that he has, will be taken away and cast. The unprofitable servant into the outer darkness, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 29 and 30 when we are found unaccountable, we fail to keep God's reward he has for us. The unprofitable servant was cast out from his master's presence and in torment. In the past few moments, I have shared a thought about our accountability. Are you accountable? Are you praying? Are you studying? Coming to church regularly? Spreading the gospel? If not, why not? Have you become a Christian or maybe fallen away and need our prayers? If you have a need, come while we stand and sing.